Hello, it is Dr. Render. In this tutorial you will learn how to make cyberpunk-like glowing pulsating wire in Blender like this one on the screen. This effect is pretty easy to make, so it will be useful for beginners. By the end you will learn more about UV mapping, shaders and animation. Let's start with clearing the space and adding a cylinder mesh that will imitate our wire. Then we have to unwrap mesh. You have to switch to edit mode by pressing tab. Then select this edge and mark theme. Select everything, press U and click unwrap. Let's change our workspace a little. In UV editor we can see our UV map. It's fine. Change editor type to shader editor and create new material. Don't forget to switch to object mode and change viewport shading to see the result. In shader editor add new node, emission. It will create the light. You can change its colors to desired. Add node mix shader and connect all nodes. Now we have glow stick. Add node gradient texture. Connect it properly. Change type of gradient to spherical. Then we will link our UV map to gradient. Add Mapping node and Texture Coordinate node. Connect everything properly like shown on the screen. We almost done. Now we can set the shape of glowing pulse, signal, whatever. Set Y scale to 0 to get rid of seam. Shape of light could be set with X scale and its location with X location. The same settings could be done in UV editor because they are linked. And let's go forward to animation. Set your workspace. In Blender you can animate almost everything. In Shader Editor press I while holding cursor uh, under location box. Then set slider to another frame. Let's say to 50th frame. In the Shader Editor Set location to the end position and create keyframes. Press space to see your work. Congratulations! Animation is done. Check the full node setup on the screen. A few more words. This effect will be useful not only for some technical and cyberpunk stuff. It all depends on your imagination how to use this knowledge. Be free to experiment with gradient types, shapes and shaders. Thanks for watching. I hope this small tutorial was useful for you and you enjoyed it. Like, share and subscribe please. And leave a comment if you have a question, want to advise or to say a few kind words. Bye.